Hello ladies and gentlemen, let's give you the biggest manifestation tip ever. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jyoti, your spiritual guide, your spiritual bestie. And before I begin this video, I'd like you to click the subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell. Now, what is the biggest manifestation tip ever? In this whole world, number one thing that will give you the, 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 the superpower to manifest the best of the best, to manifest that, that dream life, that confidence, that unshakable faith, that you know wealth, that good health, is you starting to love yourself. Yes, self-love is the best, best and most powerful way to manifest and staying light you know when you start to love yourself you naturally want to be lighter like you want to feel light in your body do not eat you don't want to eat foods that will make you feel heavy and sluggish that keeps your like that pulls your energy down so staying light is a part of the biggest manifestation tip but loving yourself and what is self-love you know it's you honoring your feelings it's you honoring your feelings so much that you feel them and still choose to do the right thing when you you know learn to feel your feelings meaning you're not avoiding them but you're actually feeling them in the body at the same time you have the strength to do that which is right for you wow you become a force to be reckoned with like you become so unstoppable and you develop that, you know, um, strength through journaling, through praying, through, you know, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me if you want to, you know, learn how to feel your feelings. One session is very powerful enough, but that's another thing that you have one session with me and then you want to come back to me again and again and again not because you need me but because you love me so much you know just when you eat watermelon you you know it's so good you don't need to but then you just love it so much so my energy is magic but you learning to love yourself you honoring yourself you knowing you when you love yourself you say no to yourself you know like okay i love myself enough so even if i'm tempted to binge on like such sluggish food late at night i'm going to say no to myself when you love yourself you say no to the destructive habits like okay you know what my feelings are convincing me to call my ex back who like literally cheated me for like five years and was already married but still uh, keeping me hooked into him and I, I we did had some great moments and now right now i'm missing him so maybe i should call him but your self-love will tell you it's okay to feel your feelings and still saying no no to yourself no to your own self you know and self-love will also convince you to do things that may feel hard like okay going on a walk in nature right now feels very like i need to get out of my bed i, I need to put on my shoes and all that it feels too hard but then your self-love will give you the power to go out go on a walk to put on those shoes to get out of the bed to make the healthy meal for yourself you know self-love gives us that power and how does self-love comes through inner child healing you know so staying light inner child healing and self-love this is all very connected when you inner child you know it's a aspect of you a one year old aspect it's like a very baby you know aspect of you which is alive within you it is there it's not like some it's just not in conversation it is alive within you if you just listen to it you know how how so many artists create these funky songs and funky looks you know um so, you know some people that there, there is a creativity that uh, some people may use it in a very bad way like we can see in the organizations like coca-cola and other organization that are creating unhealthy foods that are creating unhealthy products that is the misuse of the creativity but there are organizations also that are cre using their creativity to create 
things that bring you good health that brings harmony into this world that brings connection into this world so that happens when you are listening to that inner child that pure aspect of you that very innocent aspect of you so when you learn to listen to it when you learn to listen to that uh, her stories her or his stories meaning where was it shamed and you bring it to journal you bring it to the uh, you know safe person like a therapist or you can book a one on one session with me if you feel intuitively guided to me if you feel the nudge within you so uh, when you listen to that child aspect of you uh, listen to their pain what uh, what was missing for them maybe in your childhood you'd never received encouragement you never received love you never received connection you never uh, were surrounded in right colors for you nobody even knew what is uh, what is your favorite color do you know what is your favorite color and if you know it are you surrounded by that color you know that's a very powerful thing to do and it has because color has a very strong effect on our psyche you know it's it has a very strong effect on our psyche on our mind on our thoughts on our health on our energy so being surrounded in the color that you really like is a, a way of telling your inner child like hey i love you and you know when you are surrounding yourself in that color you will witness that how your inner child will come out and play like you will feel like okay yes this is my inner child you will feel that so first of all do you know your color if you do comment down below and will let me know what it is and also how can you bring that color more into your life can you um uh, uh, like get the origami of that color that origami paper and make origami with it like some butterflies some flowers and place them around your home can you get those you know uh, wall papers and place them on your walls and uh, can you get the bed sheet of that color can you write with that color can you wear the clothes of that color find creative ways of bringing that color into your life and uh, uh, that this is like this a very little way of uh, telling your inner child like hey you are important to me because when you learn to love your inner child you know your inner child will come and support you in your goals lot of times we are like you know what we really want to do that we really want to do that but there is no discipline we find ourselves wasting our time here and there why because there are other aspects of us that are not on board with that particular thing 2 years ago not 2 years ago 20 24 years ago i started my youtube channel but there was no energy i could put into it i would upload like in um uh, the uh, two uh, two months uh, one video and then i didn't for a year or two i, I know like um there are some other reasons also but one of the reasons was this uh, uh, main reason was because my i didn't had that strong connection with my inner child you know i i, I wasn't i didn't know my shame i didn't know my uh pain i didn't know my where i was hurt so i needed to build that connection and now when i do have that connection i am uploading every single day you know uh even though even when i i get no views and like i'm always like frustrated like why am i not getting views and all of that and my messages are going to waste but then there is this resiliency there is this genuine like there is this divine uh, inspiration that uh, that that's like not letting me mm, like any anything affect anything affected like you know no disappointment no failure is uh, affecting the um, this what what do you say perseverance and the discipline around putting one video every single day and in every single video i, I there are initially i would write script for them but then now i just let i just let god speak through me i just show up and lot of my fears are gone so sometimes we see like you know a uh, success should be outward like i should be getting so many subscribers and views and love and all of that but there is other form of success like my fears are gone i feel much lighter you know uh, earlier i would feel very very heavy when i would record the youtube video because i was like oh my god am i looking good oh my god are the lighting perfect oh my god am i speaking everything very very perfectly am i uh, um am i like uh, looking uh, looking 
like someone who can do it am i if that 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 is a thing like what is like looking like one you know all that thing but now it's very light i just okay i'm here to um, i have a very powerful messages that can really transform your life that are really transforming to your life so here i am and um, just very very light and that lightness comes when you uh, every single day journal journal about your feelings journal uh, even if you don't feel like even and especially on the days when you feel like you know what journaling is totally blah it is not going to give me any benefits and talking to my therapist is totally rubbish it is not going to give me anything taking a walk in nature is totally rubbish it is not going to give me anything especially on those days you even if you feel those feelings you pick up the pen and you show up at your journal you put on those shoes and you go out to walk in nature and breathe the fresh air you book a session with your therapist and you make art or something that you you know calms you down that calms you down and when you are very calm you can listen to the god you can listen to your inner child and children are the most closest to god so when you are listening to the inner child within you you are listening to god okay so doing the inner child work being light remaining light you know lot of times i will detox and fast like from a very healthy place not uh, i have done fasting from a very unhealthy place don't recommend it at all do not ever do that but slowly slowly it takes be patient with yourself this is a journey like you know you will be unlearning lot of things like like lot of heavy weights of limiting beliefs and shame and hurt and pain letting that go it cannot happen in just one round like when i take my dog on a walk she will pee and then she will pee again like in 10 minutes because when the first time she was peeing she like uh, all the waste does not come out in just one go it, it also takes time you know if you start to clean a very dirty house like which has been dirty and never been clean in the past one year you cannot clean it in like one round you need at least like 2 3 weeks slowly slowly so uh, as you are coming close to your becoming close to yourself as you are developing this relationship with yourself you know it's a it requires patience okay and as you are watching me you are going to have that patience within you because um that's how it is the people that we surround ourselves with people we watch we listen to we read um we become like them and uh, when we don't have people who are in the highest good of us in our physical reality you know watching the videos reading the books getting their courses getting in the close proximity with them is a powerful way to surround yourself with that good energy and because i have done that work to heal and to becoming close to myself i'm incredibly patient with myself i'm so resilient so you will also start to have all those things you know you will become so in love with yourself and when you do this all this process all aspects of you come in alignment with your dreams and desires and so then you be you will have that unstoppable energy because all aspects of you are working towards that goal you know and creating that harmony within the aspects of you and then you start to do it with other you know people in the world creating win win scenarios you know so uh, that's a process but yeah i'm staying really really light what what makes you feel lighter is it like breathing the fresh air is it like you know taking a walk in nature is it like painting is it like dressing up is it what is it that keeps you light is it like journaling i feel like journaling painting is it like go exercising so feeling light is really powerful it's the best manifestation tip ever but it's not only feeling light when you because you can only feel light when you are you know loving yourself when you are having that connection with your inner child and when you are you know doing things um, that are in harmony that your inner child feels good so um, yeah let me know in the comments below how this video helped you and uh, what other 
topics you want me to make a video upon all my description is in the uh, like uh, this all the work details with me in the description check them out i love you i am here for you